Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to American Law webinar series by Learmark. Learmark is an intellectual property rights consultancy. This is Leon Uwe Lee. I am Learmark's legal counsel and your presentation host. Today's presentation is the 2004 Hamdi case, a direct result from U.S. commencement on war on terror campaigns and subsequent combat operations in the Middle East, in this case, Afghanistan, and resultant Islamist terrorists captured from these U.S. military operations. On the surface, case concerned itself with legal challenges on birthright citizenship, definition of enemy combatant, and military commission trial format. However, closer examination quickly reveals that it had far more constitutional issues concerning the scope and power of Article III federal courts defined in our constitutional republic. Namely, does the federal court command's authority to literally demand and validate material facts up front before commencement of a trial? That is, based on inclinations of judicial activist judges, can they assert doctrine of judicial sufficiency, that is, to have a trial over the material evidence before commencement of a formal trial? Resultant final Supreme Court decision stated, no, that mere assertion of judicial sufficiency by a federal court cannot negate a trial whole purpose of a trial is for all parties to submit material evidence before court proceedings, and that the court is legally obliged to demonstrate proper legal deference to executive government entities prosecuting the case. One cannot, in colloquial terms, have a trial before a trial. but. The devil is always in the court decision details. Hence, let us begin. <laughs> 